Well, greetings, St. Bart's family. Can you believe it? We're about to begin a brand new liturgical year, which begins with the season of Advent. Now, every year on the first Sunday of Advent, we have our regular morning worship service, but then in the evening, we gather back together as a church family for our annual Advent wreath party. We're gonna have plenty of good food, lots of fun for the kids, There'll be plenty of time for fellowship and fun and the opportunity to come together with friends and family to make your very own Advent wreath, which you can take home with you and enjoy throughout the season. So we really encourage you to make plans to attend that party, bring your friends, bring your family and join and do it together. Now, if you're like me, you may be listening with just a little bit of skepticism. You may be wondering, what is Advent? I didn't grow up in a home that observed Advent. I didn't know what it was. Maybe you have questions about Advent, or maybe you know all about Advent, but you're wondering if it's worth the trouble. Or you may be thinking, is it even possible to observe Advent in our culture when it seems like we go straight from Thanksgiving to Christmas? These are all really great questions. Now let me start by saying that Advent is the four weeks leading up to Christmas. It's a season of waiting, anticipation, and contemplation that the church has been observing for over 1,500 years. It's a season where we get ready to celebrate Christ's coming, but also build the expectation for His return. The truth is, we all desperately need the hope and the light and the rejoicing that Christmas brings. We've all experienced darkness and longing, grief, and even a loss of hope, so then, why Advent? Why the waiting? Well, during our worship and wonder time that we have with the children on Sunday mornings at St. Bart's, we might say something like this. Everything has changed. Now is the time of the color purple. This color of purple is a strong color, a royal color, one that long ago was only for kings. We use the color purple as we get ready for the king to come. But the king who is coming is not the kind of king that people thought was coming. This king had no great army, no palace, and no riches. This king was a baby who was born in a barn. Now the king who was coming is still coming. This is full of mystery. You know, a mystery is hard to enter sometimes. That is why this time of Advent is so important. Sometimes people can walk right through a mystery and not even know it's there. This time of year, you will see people hurrying around everywhere, buying things and doing this and that, but they may miss the mystery. They don't know how to get ready, or maybe they just forgot. Well, the church learned a long time ago that people need a way to get ready to enter or even come close to a mystery like Christmas. The church set aside four weeks to get ready. Christmas, the time we celebrate the incarnation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is such a great mystery that it takes that long to get ready. Now, I hope that that was helpful um, in thinking about why Advent is worth observing. And now, I would love to spend a little time showing you how you could use an Advent wreath in your own home. One of the ways that you can use the Advent wreath is to use this card that we will provide you at the Advent wreath party or that you can pick up in the coming days at church. And what it is is a guide that gives you a simple liturgy of prayer and song to use every Sunday in Advent. You can use it at mealtime on Sunday evening, or you can use it really any night of the week. Another option for families with children is alongside with the Advent wreath to use your family nativity scene. We will provide you a guide that's going to help you use the various characters of the Christmas story to help guide you on your journey together to Bethlehem. Well, thank you for letting us share these simple ideas with you and know that we look forward to walking together with you um, as a church family during the season of Advent. Um, if you have any questions about Advent or anything about what you've seen today, please always reach out and we will see you on Sunday. Mm -hmm.